Good morning, Richard Eckley here. Happy Tuesday morning to you. We have a sunny one here in Swansea, which is quite nice. So we're on a Tuesday, we're on a Wealth Tuesday on your four keys to a healthier, happier you. And the question today was, a brick on mortar or online? Now, what are you on about now? So that's businesses. We've got your business. Traditional businesses are always brick and mortar. You have your, your stores, your shop, and then you get your customers in and you sell your products and services to them, which is, yep, yeah, good system. has been working for hundreds of years and that's fine. Of course, obviously, with the internet comes along, we then have online businesses, which have got obviously more and more popular nowadays, and it's just a, a simpler system. I mean, the, there are benefits to both systems. Uh, first of all, like obviously, with your um, brick and mortar business, you're actually getting the customer service part of it. You're getting regular customers coming into your store, to your shop. You're getting that personal connection with them. You're giving them a service, and you build up like a, a relationship with your customers. So you, you know, there's more there's more commitment if you've got a, like a regular customer that's got um, a relationship with them. They're more likely to come back to your shop and shop with you just for that service, that one to one connection. Or online, obviously, you, you lose a lot of that personal connection online. Then there's a huge difference then with your brick and mortar shop. Obviously, you're fixed by your location. You can only be in one place with your brick and mortar. You can buy sort of different locations around, be like a McDonald's if you like. It's a franchise. But your shop is fixed where it is. So you only have to get the customers coming to you. And there's a limit on the area you can you can supply because obviously there's a physical limit. People are only going to come so far to travel to your shop to buy your products and services. Plus, you have the limit of the time. You can only see your behind the counter. So you're serving one person at a time. So you're only open for, I don't know, eight, nine hours a day, possibly. So that is your, your shop is literally fixed in one place and it's only open certain times. And that's all you've got to work with, really. That's where you have to build your customer base from that. And then you're stuck there. Online, obviously, it's totally different ball game. You can set up your online, your website, and then you can reach. It's a worldwide. There is no limit. You literally, you can post at different countries. You can go all over the world. You have total world connection. You do lose that personal connection, but it's open 24 hours a day. That's another massive step again with your online business. You've got your website set up, so you can put your products and services on there. You can then you do need to advertise. That's one thing with online businesses. There's no good just sort of setting up a, a, a website and think a bit like your your shop. People are going to pass by and come in. That, unfortunately, is not going to happen. So you have costs with, with an online business. You need to advertise your website to get people, attract people in, do marketing to attract people in. But the overheads are so, so much lower than brick and mortar business. Obviously, brick and mortar business, you have to buy all your stock. You have to actually buy the the, the shop you're going to work in or rent it all out. Then there's the overhead costs of all the electrics, all the stuff. There are massive, that's the biggest problem with businesses is the overheads. That's the biggest killer. That's why most businesses actually go through is the overheads. Their profit margin is so tight. By the time they pay out the, all the overheads, that's where businesses struggle. So with online, you don't have those overheads because there's no real physical thing. You said your your website's probably about I don't know, 20, 10, 20 quid a, a month. Then there's the overheads of the domain name. And then it's just the advertising. So there's no real costs in with your online business, like the overheads of a traditional brick and mortar business. So nowadays, if you look at most, especially sort of the, the, the big major businesses that are sort of going bankrupt, they're going through, their overheads have killed them. If they had gone change to more online system, although it's 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 sad because you do lose the jobs connection with the with the online, but business isn't there to make profit. A business needs to be profitable in order to keep working. And if your business is actually losing money every year, you're going to go out of business in time. So that's the problem. So it's, although it's no, it's nice to give people employment. Actually, employment is actually a, a byproduct of the business because the business is first to make make money to make the business profitable, and then if it can do that, it can then employ people and go that way up, step that way. But if it's actually losing money, it's then going to go bankrupt and they're losing jobs anyway. So online business is so important. If you've got a brick and mortar business, is to get your online business, get your website set up, get an online presence, if you like, there. And then start to market and advertise about your business online and attract customers there. Because they will, I said, that store is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it's always going and ticking over. And that's the huge difference between, you said, brick and mortar, I suppose, the online. Nowadays, you do, if you've got brick and mortar, you do really need an online presence as well. You can actually just have an online business nowadays, which is something you wouldn't really heard of about 10 years ago. But now you can just have an online business and you don't have the overhead. The, st the startup costs are just ridiculously cheap. There's no real major overheads. Unlike sort of like if you were like opening a pizza a pizza place, you have to pay like 85,000 for the pizza ovens before you started anything. Then there's all the, the everything involved in the whole shop. So it's just there's huge outlays to start off a traditional brick and mortar business. But online business, you can start up for a fraction of the costs and the overheads are so much lower. So I would say nowadays, if you've got a chance, definitely develop an online business. If you are already doing your brick and mortar business, that's fine. 
but get an online presence as well and that's where you sort of develop your business and there's so many things you can do as i said for marketing to develop in that way and you just get money coming that way so my question is brick and mortar or online i reckon it's a combination of both nowadays but it's definitely heading more towards online than brick and mortar you need a brick and mortar say for your customer service for for that personal connection with the customers that's a great service to have but online can just get your products and services going out all over the world, firing around, and it's just, yeah, a bigger a bigger reach for, for everyone. That's my little thought today on Wealth Tuesday. Have a good day today, wherever you are. All the best.